Hello and welcome back to Rich Tech. Today I'm going to attempt to repair this MagSafe 1 60 watt charger. It has the L shaped connector. The main problem with this charger is uh, this port. Obviously, what you're seeing here is not normal. Seems someone tried to repair it and uh, put something like plasticine or some clay or some something to repair this junction. And it, apart from looking ugly, it is also scary. It is not permanent. And as you can see, the damage has come back again to haunt the owner of this charger. And so this charger was thrown out as defective because the owner couldn't repair it any further. Now we are going to transform this charger from this condition to this in a short while. Now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Whenever I get such charges, the first thing I do is to find out if they are okay. And how do you find out? You can uh, connect the charger to a MacBook. I can see the positive white wire inside there is not exposed. So there is bound to be no short. And with that, I connect it to a power source. Now I had already connected this charger to this power source a few minutes ago. And what I wanted you to hear from that is a pop because when this charger has an input then you hear a pop when you connect it to the power source. The power source should be on obviously. Now having confirmed that this charger has input, I want to test it if it can be able to charge a MacBook by connecting this side the connector to a MacBook. But I have a MacBook Air which uses the T-shaped connector. So I'm going to use this con uh, adapter to convert the L-shape into a T-shaped connector, so to speak, and then connect it with my MacBook. We have nothing. Let's see what happens if we press this. Uh, we have light. Don't know if you can see there clearly. You have green because this MacBook is a full. It is showing continuous green. So this charger is okay except that point. So we want to set about to improve this. Of course, the first thing we do is to remove this gooey thing here. This is scary. And wow, there is another layer underneath. Again, if you know what this is, kindly let me know. Never encounter this in my pens. So we'll throw this away as rubbish. Okay, back to our charger. Here, I'll go ahead and cut right at that point. Remember, we want to return it to the look we know of a MagSafe charger. That's better, can work with that. Now, I want to open up this charger and remove this junction. Here's the open charger. If you don't know how to open this, I've shown this in several of my past videos. Let's place a pair of pliers right at that point, then push apart. Now the two parts of the casing of this uh, charger will pull apart. If you're lucky, they'll come out this neatly along the seam, then remove this. Now you can be able to access this junction. And 
uh, we can reuse this by drilling it i've also shown this in my past videos i'll i think i'll pin uh, the link to those past videos on the screen or in the description but uh you can be able to repair these junctions and you reuse them and that's what i usually do like in this case this one is still really uh, working good but i have another one a spare one so i'll not use this today i'll just cut it off and we remain with the uh, two wires sticking out of the charger like this here's our junction we'll use it another day here is one of the cheap junctions of one from one of the fake charges but they are good they work anyway so i'm going to use this and i'll thread it at the end of the cable right here that's it pull it in then prepare the end of this cable by exposing the wires Okay, here we are. Both ends of our wires have been uh, stripped, so we want to solder this together. Apply a bit of solder to all ends. Okay, that's good. So we combine and join the wires together. Matching them is not difficult. If you know where the white goes, the black one is there only one remaining so let me connect the white one first of all can you even pull it uh, it's not going anywhere okay now i'll uh, insulating it with the tip A good joint now oh, let's solder this is how i test my work i pull it if it's strong enough can't come out it's a good joint that is insulated this is how our charger looks like now now before we finish on this end let's test if this charger is working course you connect it to a power source connected connect this end to this uh, converter magsafe 1 to magsafe 2 converter then connect to the macbook as you can see that it's a good sign because the laptop is uh, fully charged, it remains green, but the charger is working. You can also turn it to the other side. It's a good sign. So the charger is working, all that remains is for us to close it up. Next, we fix this junction to this end of the cable using super glue. That's not going anywhere. Then now to assemble the charger itself. Install this clip. Turn these wires in a circular way so that they fit inside the charger so that they do not have any strain. See how the junction fits. It's starting to look good. Now we'll apply glue to this edge and close up the charger. Then quickly we'll close the charger. That's it. 
that's it now here is our charge after the glue has set I want you to see the joints where we put the glue especially on this side it is perfect this end is now neat I want to give it a clean I want to give it a wash clean it up and see how it will look and compare it to how it was before here is our charger cleaned up and you cannot help but notice the transformation that's where we had the glue gum plasticine thing that's the cable which was dirty and now this charger has a new lease of life it's transformed to new and that's how you do a repair once again if you like this content kindly consider subscribing i really do appreciate that like and also share also i would like to hear from you give comments and uh, tell me what you think thank you for your time